fellas how is it going and welcome back to bee swarm guys it is time it is finally time we have waited like 50 years but bees miss is finally back never mind the game got deleted this sucks <laughs> gosh dang it man okay all right we're back <laughs> anyways though hey fellas how's it going it's a me and welcome back to bee swarm guys the game has finally updated after like an entire year of waiting i believe this is just like a soft launch of the update i don't think like the entire beesmas thing got released yet but there are still some new things so we might as well check it out today oh my gosh it has been a while since like i've done anything in the main game for the past like few days i've been doing a little bit of afking just like to get some money back because I heard white players got screwed over incredibly, but I want to see it for myself before I jump to any conclusions. But yeah, Beastmas, my god, it's... Ugh, what do we even do, man? There's so many things. Hey, sup guys, it's me. And this is the part of the video where I ask you to smash like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It doesn't take long at all, and it really helps me out a lot. You gotta be part of the small percentage of people who are actually subscribed. Fellas, I believe this is the first video I'm making after I reach 6k. So, you know, I just wanted to thank you guys. We did it, fellas. Those few months of me saying, guys, we're getting super close to 6k. Let's keep going. It's finally over. Let's go. And it was pretty much thanks to, like, those three Beastworm videos I released before Beastmas came out. Like, those did really good. So, you know, thank you, guys. Even more Beastmas content is on the way, fellas. I think you know what I'm about to say. But, uh, we're getting kind of close to 7k, fellas. So, let's keep going. We're only, like, a million subscribers away. Almost there. But, uh, yeah, Beastmas, it's finally here, guys. Oh, my gosh. At long last. I get to finally put my voice impressions to the test after like a year of not having to do them. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. With that all being said, enjoy the video. I believe pretty much everything from the previous years have returned, so there's definitely a lot of stuff we gotta get through. Oh boy. You know, we should probably actually talk to Bee Bear first, just because, like, he's kind of the Santa Claus of Christmas, and it would make sense to start off with him instead of, like, diving into, like, the upper fields. So, uh, hello there, Bee Bear. How's it going, mate? I love his nice, good old cheery voice like last year. Ho, 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 ho. Well, what did you know? It's me, Bee Bear, the magical gift-giving holiday bear, here to celebrate the most wonderful time of the year. Beesmas, a joyous season of snow, gifts, and most of all, bees. I've brought along my festive bee, my reindeer puppy bee, and of course my cub buddies. Ho ho! Say, will you help us jolly up this map? Let's make it merry. If you complete five quests, I'll give you a star jelly, dickhead. If you complete ten quests, I'll give you some goodies, including a festive planter and three super smoothies. And if you help me complete fifteen quests, I'll give you a cub buddy of your own. Or a star treat if you've already got one. One cub helper per person, ho ho ho. And that's not all. Oh no ho ho. I've even more gifts for you hidden around the map. If you help the other bears around the map decorate for beesmas, you can open. What do you say? Are you ready to get festive? Mate, your bees look ready. Let's not make them wait any longer. Collect a thousand red pollen and 500 pollen from the mushroom field and clover field. Bee Bear, what happened to your voice, man? It's so different now. His sleigh bells definitely dropped. My god. All right, well, uh, what do we have here? A thousand red pollen, mushroom, and clover field. Ah, man, guys, this is gonna take me a while, man. Oh no. Ah, this this sucks, man. Oh, oh, well, never mind. Get Eddie. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yep, I actually did get Eddie here. On it, please. Let me complete B game. The game is currently a bit unstable, and I'm rebooting often to resolve bugs as they are being reported. All right, cool on it. You do that, but not while I'm doing gaming. Oh ho ho ho! That's what I'm talking about. You and your bees make a fantastic additions to my team of holiday helpers. We've got much more to do, but here's some rewards, including three paper planters. Set a planter in a flower field, and it will automatically grow over time. While you're in game, your bees will sip nectar from it, which grants you special boosts. Every time they sip from the planter, it speeds up the growth. Once the planter is fully grown, it's ready to harvest. When harvested, planters grant you pollen, nectar, and random rewards. 
The rewards change based on the field you planted in. How exciting. Oh ho ho, please do try one out. Then talk to me again when you're ready for your next quest, Nobed. Just four more for a star jelly and 14 more for a cub buddy or a star treat, if you already have one. All right, mate. Yo, look at that. So these are the uh, the new the new paper planters in the game, or just the, the planters, all right? Um, oh, look at this. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot he was going to do this. So now we have gingerbread bears and aged gingerbread bears. Honestly, I kind of like the name I had before, like stale gingerbread bears. I feel like that would kind of be more on theme, but whatever. This cookie has aged an entire year, grants 500 bond, and has a 1.1% chance to turn and be gifted. Wait, that's actually good though, huh? It's like twice as much bond and like 0.1 more chance to turn to be gifted. That's... Huh, I didn't expect it to be better. I thought it was just gonna be normal or worse, if anything, because I feel like feeding your bees like stale treats aren't a good thing, but I guess on it says otherwise. All right, well, that's cool. Uh, I guess we'll get our next quest and maybe I'll I'll hold off on doing any more bee bear quests for now because I want to look at all the other stuff around the map. Ho, 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 just check out all that snow. Falling snowflakes are one of the purest simple joys of beesmas. Pristling fields of snow hide all the nasty things nobody wants to see anyway. And if you use a snowflake, it grants a short but special boost to all players in that server. Spreading free gifts to everyone? Sounds like something jolly old Bee Bear would do. Ho, ho, ho. Don't you want to be like Bee Bear? Then catch that snow. And don't forget to try your paper planters. Place one in the field and let it grow. Stand nearby and your bees will collect some nectar from it, which boosts your honey making for a little while. Why don't you give it a try? All right, mate. Let's see, snowflakes, uh, 10 seconds of nectar from planters. That's a very weird requirement, but all right. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, it's the planter shop. It's beautiful. It looks a lot more dapper than before, I must say. Like before it was just a box, but it's actually a building now. Hot dog. What is the requirement to get in here? It's like, it's a, it looks like a door that would like either let you in or not. Maybe I'm just so awesome, it just let me in anyways. Alrighty then. Um, let's see. High damage to a single puff shroom. People already grinding out them in this game? Really, man? Oh. Yo. Kind of funky, kind of funky. New new music in the game. Oh, it's been a while since we got new music, actually. That's actually awesome. Hey, up, man. How you doing? Uh, Dapper Bear. Oh. Oh, God. What should their, uh, their voice be? I didn't think about this until now. Ah, crap. Um, actually, you know what? I got it. Hi, I like your hat and your boots, too. I guess you could call me snooty, but that's the only reason you got in. Now, oh, fair enough. I guess I'm just dripped out. He respected my drip. Fair enough. I gotta, I gotta hand it to him. Appearances are everything, and our attire is more than skin deep. I take pride in how I present myself and my shop in my own way. So much pride that you could call me Dapper Bear. I've set up shop here in hopes of meeting creative bears, beekeepers, and bees, who aren't afraid to be a little bold in a subtle sort of way, tending towards an aesthetic sense to unlock our, mm, unique potentials. The mission is a little vague, but it should come together in time. I see you've already got a bee equip case. Aren't you lucky? Well then, you'll definitely be ready for my quest. I believe that every bee, no matter how small or unassuming, has the potential to stand out with the right bee equip, but I'll explain more later. For now, I need to finish setting things up. But if you return throughout the winter event, I'll have some quests for you. Feel free to take a look at my planters. I'll teach you more about those later as well. Just know that the gist is, they're as helpful as they are neat looking. Sort of like me, and I'm guessing sort of like you. Place planters on flower fields, and they'll automatically grow over playtime. If you leave the game, the planters will pause growing, but it will stay on the field and it will still be there when you return. As planters grow, they store pollen, prizes like treats, and crafting materials like waxes. And of course, nectar. Nectar is a special substance that grants temporary boost to the honey making of your hive. By standing on a field with a planter, your bees can visit it to sip nectar. When they do, they gather a little bit of nectar and help speed up the growth of the planter. Placing planters on different fields is essential to gathering materials and nectar. But I have many quests to help explain it more in depth. For now, I'll give you some ticket planters for you to test them out. Some planters like those, ticket planters, can only be harvested once. But all the planters for sale in my shop can be reused endlessly. Now if you'll excuse me, I've gotta keep prepping. Check in with you soon. Alright, cool man, that's nice. So we got some, uh, ticket planters I guess, awesome. Grows in about two hours of playtime, grants tickets, and spawns a puff shroom, great. But over here, fellas, these are the new planters in the game. And I'm pretty sure one of them is like the most expensive item in the game. So that's gonna be fun. But we got the plastic planter for, you know, pretty, pretty cheap. Candy planter for also pretty cheap. We just need some waxes or like the new type of waxes in the game. Tacky planter for two types of new waxes, all right? 
the pesticide planter for a few new waxes as well. Once again, pretty cheap. And then it scales up all the way to this one. Wait a minute. Oh boy. The planter of plenty. A hundred trillion, honey. Oh my god. 500 magic beans, 800 super smoothies, swirled wax, caustic wax, and you just shut down my game. Why? I'm pretty sure that was 25 turpentine or turpentine, which is basically like a B-quip scrubber, I'm pretty sure. Where like, if you mess up your B-quip, I think it like refreshes it or whatever back to the normal stats. So you have like a fresh start, I think. Alright, well then, I, I guess we're back again. That's probably gonna be a common occurrence where the game crashes and, you know, we have to rejoin. Are there new stuff in the shop? Um, ooh, there is, hot dog. The buoyant pack and precise pack. I kind of forgot there are new mythics in the game, I'm gonna be honest. Meet buoyant bee, the blue mythic bee, spawns balloons to carry pollen and inflate your bag. So this one has a buoyant bee egg, 250 tickets, glues, blue extracts, probo potions, three red, white, and black balloons. So you get balloons, all right. And the more expensive one, the precise pack, meet precise bee, the red mythic bee, shoots lasers and unleashes super critical power. The pack contains a precise bee, tickets, red extracts, hard wax, stingers, neon berries, and loaded dice. Ooh, loaded dice, you say? Hmm, <laughs> that is actually kind of intriguing. Oh boy. I'll probably hold off on buying like the uh, packs today. Maybe I'll buy one like next time, maybe. I don't really know. We're gonna, we're gonna try to keep it as slow as possible. I don't want to speed through everything. I don't even want to do a lot in this episode just so I can get it out as soon as possible. I don't want this turning out to be like a 30 minute bee swarm episode. I want it to be like, maybe just like 20 minutes at the most. But we also got Bieber's catalog once again. So we have a present, ticket planter, festive planter, which I believe this is kind of like a festive uh, sprout or bean, except maybe not broken. I don't know. Anything with the name festive in it is always questionable when it comes to bee swarm. Honeysuckle purple potions, white balloons, night bells, snow globe, loaded dice, festive bean, candle, tree hat, gifted mythic egg, puppy antlers, royal jellies, star jellies, eggs, 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 mythic eggs, glitter, blah blah blah, star treat, super smoothies. So this is kind of like last year as well, because there was like 500 super smoothies for uh, 500 gingerbread bears, I think. Can we actually buy that? Wait a minute. Does it want like real gingerbreads or the fake ones? I, I don't know. Should I give it a shot? I mean... Nope. All right. I guess I need the real ones then. Fair enough, man. Is her is her thing back? I feel like I should probably do this as soon as possible because, yeah, the gingerbread house was very useful. All right. You know what's up, mother bear? How's it going? Sweets are great for eating, but also for decorating and having some fun. My favorite beastmas activity has to be building gingerbread houses, but I'm struggling a little bit this year. I'm not the craftiest, but I try. Say, would you and your bees be willing to help me complete this year's house? If we work as a team, I think we can still salvage it. I need you to collect some pollen and a few different types of tokens. We'll also need to use a few tools here and there to tie it all together. Collect 2,000 pollen in the dandelion field, 2,000 pollen in the mushroom field, 5 strawberry, blueberry, and treat tokens, and use one field dice and microconverter. I can do that, ma'am. Give me that. All right, mushroom field, there we go. You there, good sir. Die. Man just got mauled by thousands of bees. That is so terrible. What up, laddies? How's it going, mate? Good day, sirs. Good day, good day, good day. Or madams, I guess, because lady, ladybugs. All right, dandelion field, and then, uh, where is it? Field dice over here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can actually have an infinite amount of field dice now. There's no longer a cap to it. I'm not sure if there's a cap for the smooth dice and loaded dice. I think the loaded dice for sure has a cap, but I'm not sure about the smooth dice. I don't think it does have one, but you never know, really. Oh, but this over here, this feels like a fat waste. One microconverter, really? Come on, man. Come on. Why'd you? Oh, bro, I have 21. I'm over the cap. That's like really good. Um, okay, whatever, man. There you go. Take it. Jesus Christ. Perfect. This ought to do. Let's just stack it all together and... Bazinga! Looks adorable and a bit tasty. Now that it's complete, the gingerbread house will generate gingerbread bears for you. For every two hours you spend in-game, it will generate one gingerbread bear. The gingerbread bears generate even if you forget to check the house. Whenever you go to check it, it'll give you the store gingerbread bears to you. Gingerbread bears are beloved by bees and even have the chance to turn them gifted. In addition, you can also use them to purchase special things in Bee Bear's catalog. They're only here during this time of year, so be sure to stock up. Alright, madam. Good day to you. I just wanted to get that one out of the way because we are going to be abusing the hell out of that thing in order to get what we want in the catalog, alright? 
I have a feeling that that house is gonna be like the main source of gingerbread bears. That's what it was last year, so I doubt there's gonna be anything like way better this year. At least probably. Oh yeah, also we were given an extra slot to our, our hotkeys or whatever, our item bars. So pretty, pretty cool. There we go. I think we gotta use like one of those. So yeah, we're almost done with the bee bear quest, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that for now. I wanna check out something, fellas. As you know, I'm I'm a white player. And I believe white players were given a endgame equip in this update. Please tell me he didn't hold it off in part two. Uh, yo, let's go, baby. Let's actually go. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh. Oh. Crap. 1,500 glue? Wait a minute, how much do I have? Oh, I have like 2,000! Wait a minute! Oh, wait! Wait, eject! Wait! Oh, God, I completely forgot about this. No, 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 I thought I was gonna need more. This shut up, man! I don't care about you! Um, hey, I can't leave anymore? What? What? I'm trapped! I'm trapped in here! Wait, let me out, man! What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, my, is it because I don't have the gummy wand anymore? Is it because, or I didn't have it in the first place, but is it because I don't have it? Is that why he, he doesn't want to speak to me? He was like, oh, you may have had the drip before, but you don't have the full drip now, so I'm, I don't I don't know who you are, man. Bro, that guy's an absolute rap scallion. Scoundrel he is. But wait a minute. Oh, God, no. Wait, eject, 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 eject. I made a mistake, I made a mistake. Ah, crap, no. Oh, all my gumdrops are gone, dude. I thought it was gonna be more expensive. There was like a test realm, like in the test realm, there was a crafting thing for the, the wand or whatever. And it was like, I think 2,500. I looked in the main game, I only had like 1,900. I started panicking. So I started crafting as many as I could. And uh, here we are. Now I have like almost 3,000. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Well, that sucks. There, I literally used all my gumdrops. I used to have like 20,000. Now I have like none, dude. Maybe I should buy a few. Like maybe like, uh, how much worth? Um, maybe, uh, how much is that? Maybe let's spend like 500 more tickets. Oh, this is such a waste, dude. Never do this, but oh my god, man. Okay. I get it. I get it. I messed up. Yeah. All right. My bad for trying to prepare for the update, fellas. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. So, yeah, I guess Audit decided to decrease the cost of the the gummy wand or whatever. What was it called again? The gummy baller, I think. Um, yeah, the gummy baller. So, it's now only 1,500 glues. I swear in the test realm, it was like 2,500. Granted, not everything in the test realm was final, but like, I still wanted to be safe. But no, he like decreased it by like almost half, man. Jesus Christ. I would have been good. I had like 1,900, man. So I guess all I need now is the turpentine and also caustic wax. However you get that. I think through like uh, the planters, I'm pretty sure. Do you seriously not want to speak to me anymore, man? Really? Are we not homies? Are we not bros? Really? I'm literally you. I'm, I'm gumpendium, knobhead. If anything, I'm your supervisor. You can't tell me what to do. Jesus Christ, man. Okay. Looks like I just have to kill myself every single time I want to leave. That's nice. A good moral lesson from Gummy Bear, fellas. Alright, so it looks like we have a little bit of grinding to do when it comes to the, uh, waxes, I guess. Caustic wax. How do I get those? Are there anything in here? Oh, wait, this is here. The wand- wait, the wand's just over here now? What? Okay. So, yeah, now this place got a little revision. We got the blue clay planter over here. But also the Tide Popper, which is only 2.5 trillion, honey, I just want to point out. Why is the white one so expensive? Why is the white one 10 trillion, but this one is only like a fourth of the price? What the hell? White players got absolutely curb stomped this update, dude. They don't get a new B. Their equip is like four times more expensive. Like, oh my lord, Jesus. On it, I thought we were homies. Why, man? He knew I was a white player and he was like, you, Gumpendium, you must die. Perish, fool. Oh my gosh, man. Okay. So is there no, like, actual elite area to this place did blue players get kind of like screwed over that's awesome i didn't even see that in the test room so maybe that's like not in the game yet or he didn't work on it yet but let's see over here we got the uh the red clay planter and also the dark scythe for red which is once again only a fourth of the price of the gummy baller that is awesome how many extracts do i have oh not even halfway that kind of sucks man guess we won't be getting those ones in a while man oh boy would it even be worth it to get those other equips if you're not that color? I don't know. It's pretty worth it to get, like, all the, uh, masks or whatever for, like, each color. Like, the gummy one, the demon one, and the blue one. 
Actually, maybe not the blue one, but like, you know, the gummy one and the demon one both have their own uses. Like the demon one, you everyone can use it for attack if they decide to, you know, do any stick bug runs. But like the endgame equips, I don't know if they'll have like that many uses. I guess the elite area is also closed off for red, so can't even check that out. What's that up there? Is that the, the what's its face suckle thing? Suck your face? How do I get to there? Um, where am I? Help. What? Heh. Wait, wait, where, where am I? Wait a minute. Did I, did I fall in a crack or something? What? <laughs> How? How did I get over here? Oh my god, man. Okay. Jesus Christ. This is like the third time I died in this one episode. All right. Now to sell fellas, there's just like a random crack somewhere around here. Uh, right, right over here. Beware. This is the death pit over here, fellas. Beware. Oh wait, can we actually like get any of these or is that not possible right now? I think the best one I could get anytime soon is probably this one, just cause like, it's pretty cheap. I just need some waxes and that's all. All right, what about the pedal shop? Wait a minute, I heard there was something in there. Hold on a second. Hey up, mate. Yo, I was actually right. Let's go. There's actually a third thing over here now. The pedal planter for 100,000 million billions. Ooh, trillions. Five trillion, honey. Oh, boy. So we need a lot of the swirled waxes and also a crap ton of the soft waxes. Alrighty then. This one must be really good, though. Like, maybe, like, around the second best planter in the game, probably. Second or third best. I don't know. Around there. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, <laughs> let's go. My first loaded dice. You can hold 25 of them. Jesus Christ, man. That's like the same amount of field dice you could have held. My God. All right. All right. You know what? I think I want to finish off this episode by completing Bee Bear's quest. And I think I'm done. So let's slap down a paper planter, I guess. And watch our bees pop off. Go, 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 go. Pop off, bees. Do your work. They're not doing anything. It's just growing by itself. How long is that gonna take? One hour. Oh my god, man. Oh wait, we did it. Let's go. I got a minute of that stuff, which means I I, I did it. I won. Now all I need are snowflakes. Ah, oh my god, man. Okay. Be like that. Be like that. Snowflake spotted. There we go. Other snowflake spotted. There we go. Easy. But here, let's turn in this final quest, claim the next one, and I think I'll see you guys next time. Probably tomorrow, most likely. I feel like I could probably edit these videos pretty quickly as long as I keep it short. So as long as I do that, you're gonna get consistent B-Storm content, I think. And you know, of course, a few other stuff here and there. I still got my Five Nights at Fongo series going on, so you know, check it out maybe. Anyway though. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. Our planters don't seem to mind though. So even though it's cold, let him grow, let him grow, let him grow. Great work, little one. You and your bees make collecting snowflakes look like a breeze. Here are some jolly rewards, including a pink balloon. Collecting pollen under a pink balloon fills it up. After a while, it floats back to your hive. Converting the pollen from the pink balloon at your hive grants you special boosts. How bubbly, how buoyant, how brilliantly beastmas is that? And I have something even better for you. A present. Exchange this with one of the other quest-giving characters around the map. They'll give you a special ornament that you can place on the beastmas tree. Every ornament on the beastmas tree boosts your honey-making powers throughout all the beastmas. Go on, pick your favorite bear and give them that present, then report back. Complete three more quests and I'll give you a star jelly. And complete 13 more quests for your cub buddy or star tree if you already have one. All right, man. I already regret doing this voice. I just realized I thought it was funny at first for a bit, you know, to go from like super high pitched to super low pitched or just sound like a raging British man all of a sudden. But like it actually hurts doing that voice and I got to do that like 20,000 more times throughout the Beastmas event. Oh boy. Well, if there's one thing I learned about being a YouTuber, it's that you got to commit to the bit. I just need a lot of water, I guess. At my workshop, I've got a whole hive of merry little festive bees. They work all year long to make this holiday magic a reality. Most of them stay home while I travel the world, but the one to my right insists on joining me. She loves coming to the mountain of bee swarm simulator because she adores honey. Ho ho, can you believe it? A bee that loves honey? You know who else loves honey? Black Bear. Why not help Black Bear decorate for Beesmas? He's been a good bear all year. And while you're at it, why not browse a bit within? 
Bee Bear's so wonderful great deals of winter catalog. That's right, Bee Bear's some special offers for you. Click on the gingerbread bear icon on the right of your screen to open my exclusive limited time shop. Spend your snowflakes and your gingerbread bears for special rewards. All proceeds go to me, Bee Bear, one of the most important and magical mascots of Beesmas. Your generous funding is what makes all this possible, ho ho ho. Oh my god, he's gonna do more advertising this year, really? I thought we were over that, man. Alright, so what do we got? Uh, pollen, honey tokens, uh, black bear's wreath, oh god. Purchase two items from Bee Bear's catalog. Alright, well, I guess I'm already stumped here, man. <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm gonna end it off here, fellas. Probably next episode, we'll go around the map and maybe help a few bears out, you know? Give one of them a present, I guess. So yeah, that that should be pretty nice, you know? We're just, we're back on the Bee Swarm grind, fellas. That's all that matters. Oh my god. It feels good, man. It feels good. I guess I'll also be working on this paper planter. Maybe I'll claim it next episode and see what's in there. But uh, yeah, anyways, fellas, I'm gonna head out. Thank you for watching. Smash like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Do it, or else Beesmas will just end, alright? Onnit will never update his game, and everything will just be reverted back to the normal game. Oh, no. That will definitely happen if you do not become part of the small percentage of people who are actually subscribed. But yeah, anyways, fellas, I'm gonna head out. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Bye-bye, gamers.